Hi, my name is Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I will be showing you how to set the page size and staff size for a layout here in Dorico, the new music notation software from Steinberg. I've just started a new project in Dorico, and I've added all the players that I need for my orchestra. The only problem is that I have so many players added that there isn't enough room for them on the page, and as you can see that they've all bunched up and are drawing on top of each other. I can fix this really easily in Dorico, so that the music in this full score layout looks exactly how I want it to. And because it is something specific to this layout that I want to change, then I need to use the layout options. I'm in setup mode, and I have the full score layout selected. When I click this button at the bottom of the panel, then this opens the layout options for the full score. It has the key command Control shift l on Windows, that's Command shift l on Mac. I can change what I'm setting the options for by choosing a different layout in the sidebar here. And I can make a multiple selection by holding down the control key on Windows. That's Command on Mac. I can also select all instrumental parts at once by clicking this button. I'll choose the full score layout again. There are different categories of options that you can modify and you can choose those from this pop-up control. But it's page setup that we want, so I'll leave it on that. Because this is a full orchestral score layout, the first thing that we are going to want to change is the page size, which here is set to A4 by default. There are several standard paper sizes available that are used for various different types of music. But if you don't see the one that you're after, then you can always set it manually using these width and height controls. We need a larger page size, so I'm going to select A3 and then click Apply at the bottom of the dialog. Now if we move the, the dialog to one side for the moment, we can see that while this has certainly helped, the clefs are still touching, and once we start adding music, then there definitely won't be enough room. We need this next section in Layout Options, which is for setting the space size. In Music Engraving, the sizes of items in the score are calculated relative to the size of the space between two lines on a standard musical stave. So if we reduce the space size, then that will make all of the objects in the score smaller. I'm going to reduce this down to three points. Click Apply and close the dialog. There's now much more space between the staves and I'm ready to start inputting my music. I hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.